Hi guys, how are you doing today? I hope you're staying safe and keeping well. What I'm gonna do for you today is my 10 minute face, which is this. It's pretty easy to follow if you don't really do makeup very often. I think this one is a great tutorial to watch. My first recommendation is if you are in a rush and need to do a 10 minute face is to have all of your products out and ready to go. Uh, maybe I'll post a picture in here of how I have everything set up. Although my makeup table is pretty messy, so we'll see. All right, let's get started. I've already washed my face, moisturized, and put on some primer. The first thing that I start with when I'm trying to do a fast face is Heart Shape Tape Concealer. I put it on my darkest areas and all of the same spots that I normally put on when I'm doing a regular makeup face. So I get a little dark spots here and here. I'm going to use my Suva Beauty Blush to blend this in. Just mash it into my head, <laughs> basically. Actually, I think I put a little bit too much on, but that's okay. We'll just smear it around more. So I'm down the nose, paying attention to the red spot that I don't know if you saw I had. My daughter got a new toy that flies and um, bounces off the floor and goes back up. And I thought it had a sensor and it wouldn't sense, it would sense me and not hit me, but there was no sensor and it hit me right on the nose. It was pretty funny. It didn't bruise or it didn't bleed, but it did leave a red mark. But that's okay. That's what makeup is for. It covers it up. The next thing I'm going to grab is the Celebration Foundation, which is powder foundation from It Cosmetics. And instead of using the sponge that comes with it, which I sometimes do, I'm going to use this Beauty Blender Puff. I don't remember what it's called, but that'll be down in the comments. And then I just put this all over. Sometimes if I don't want to use the powder, I have a tinted primer that I like to use, or I use a um, tinted moisturizer instead. But today I'm opting for the powder foundation. The next product I'm going to use is also from It Cosmetics. I really like this one because it has everything I need in one palette as far as for the face. So I'm going to use the bronzer slash contour, this one's highlighter, and some blush. And I use the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush number 7 to put everything on. So I'm going to start with the bronzer slash contour. When you need to go fast, you just kind of slap it on there. I will switch the brush for the highlighter, which the one I want to use is on the floor. So that goes against my first step of having everything you need out. Let me grab my backup because the other one, the other one fell behind my makeup table. And I don't feel like climbing down there to get it. So what I'm going to use is the highlight brush from Real Techniques 413. Oh, and I forgot to put on the blush. So that's one thing that often happens when I'm trying to go fast, is I forget steps. But it's okay if you don't go in com exactly in order, because although they go into the same spot, it's not exactly the same, so they can kind of overlap each other, and that's okay, which is going to be the case with the blush right now. And now starting with the eyes, I go back to my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm going to put it on my eyelids. And I use the Super Beauty brush for that one as well, the Wood Beauty brush. Next, I'm going to grab my Tarte Tartlet Amazonian Clay Palette in the shade Free Spirit. And I'm just going to put that from the crease up into the brow bone. And if you notice, it's kind of empty. I do have a newer one. I had to get it from Sephora because I couldn't find it on the Tarte website anymore. But I'm just waiting until this one is really, really done before I use it. Next, I'm going to grab my Morphe M504 brush and the shade Wanderer. And I'm going to put that all over the bottom lid and up into the crease. Bottom half of the lid and up into the crease. For a little more depth of color, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Large Blending Brush. And I'm going to stick with the same color. I will also dip it into this color Natural Beauty right here, just to add some definition and a little bit of change. And then before I put the palette away, I grab this, let's see... Morphe E18 brush and back into the color Wanderer and I'm just going to put it under the eye. Now I'm going to add liner. I will use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Rockstar. It's my favorite go-to dark purple shade. And I'm going to line the top eyelid at the lash line and a little bit down on the bottom as well. Now I'm going to grab the Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. This one was actually recommended to it to me by a friend and when I first used it I wasn't a fan of it but like I've often said with different mascaras is that the first time that you use it it's not always great 
you really need to get into it a second or third time. Like, I don't know if it's being exposed to the air or something, but it really gets better after the first use. So this has turned to be one of my favorites. It goes on easily, stays all day, doesn't flake, which are my favorite properties in a mascara. Plus it adds pretty good volume and length as well. For lipstick, I'm going to use the Jouer Petal de Rose. This one is a longwear lip gloss also, but it actually smudges versus a couple of other the longwear ones that I use. So sometimes I will dab it off just so it leaves the pink sheen on my lips. I could be done right here. I've only been recording for 13 minutes and that's with talking and not being able to find my highlight brush, which is not bad at all for a 10 minute face. Often we'll skip the eyebrows, but I think because that went pretty quick, I'm going to go ahead and add them in a little bit, just brushing it out with the generic spoolie. Then I'm going to grab my Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow in 4.5. Just kind of line the bottom and fill in going up. That completes my 10 minute face. Recording time was 15 minutes, but again, I added some a lot of talking there, told you what products I was using, couldn't find a product, <laughs> but it's pretty quick. And this is how I'll run out to work if I'm running really, really late or if we're heading to the store or someone's house, anything like that. And of course, forgot to take down my hair. This is a quick one too, because um, I don't straighten it very often, but when I do, I use the curling brush and then I tie it really tight in a wrap around bun. And then when I pull it out, it keeps some of the curls. So it looks like I spent a lot of time doing my hair, but really I did not. So that's my routine and my tips for a 10 minute face. Hopefully you learned something or you like what you see. If you do, please hit like. All the products used, links can be found on my YouTube page, Makeup by Christine. If you don't already follow me, follow. If you don't already subscribe, then subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. And then grabbing my Benefit Cosmetic. And then I'm going to...